Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide, sending you the purest of love and light. God is for us. Who can be against us? You know it, right? And you need to know we are anchored, we are safe, we are secured, and we are protected. And just know you're on top, you're going higher. They cannot stop the star from shining. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. Welcome. If it's your first time returning, soul tribers, thank you for your love, your support. Thank you so very much. Let's get right into it. So it says here, familiar people were reckless with you. They did the most. Familiar people were reckless with you. The people you grew up with, the people you were friends with, the people you were working with, they thought they knew you so much that a lot of these people, they kind of, they, they took you for granted. They overlooked you. They underestimated you. You know, they, they kind of dumb you down. They didn't think you would aspire to much. It's like they just think that you're a regular smegular. And a lot of these people... Yeah, they were reckless with you. And I believe a lot of these people are waking up with a lot of regrets. They fumble the bag. You are the one that got away. So a lot of them, yeah, they were reckless with you. They didn't handle you with care. They didn't approach you with caution. They undermine who you are, your worth, your potential. And... You were like, you were the underdog. Again, the black sheep, you were hidden in plain sight. I'm telling you, yeah, it says here, death magic reverse. So for those of you, those of us, and this has been coming up a lot in a lot of the readings. People wanted death or endings to, whether this is you personally or the things in your life around you, things that you're creating. But it's reverse. It's reverse. The weapons form, but they did, they were not successful. Why? Because God fights our battles. It's because we're blessed, we're highly favored. And like I said, it's because of the covering that you have on your life. It's because you're a royal priesthood. This is because you're a holy nation. This is because you're set apart. And it says your time for a first start, new beginnings. So for a lot of you, a lot of us have been through a lot. You have been going through a lot. And it's like daybreak is coming. Daybreak is coming. For a new beginning, a first start, taking a leap of faith, where God turned it around for you. God showed up just in the nick of time for you to break the chains, to restore hope and faith into your life. Because I believe a lot of us, the attacks have been coming so much that it's like one more God, just one more. I don't know. It's like that, that wounded warrior. And it's like it's here. It's here. Time for a first start. And it's good to know that God, your ancestors and your angels, they're stepping in. This has been showing up a lot too in different cards, different. We're our ancestors. Angels and God is showing up for us on our behalf because we're here on purpose for a purpose. But see, these people, they didn't, some of them, they, they knew there was something different about you. But it's like they, you know, they couldn't give you that respect. They didn't want to boost your ego, they didn't want your head to swell up. So instead, they, a lot of them were very abusive, speak down to you negatively. 
Because again, they're try trying to chip away at your self-esteem to dull your shine so you don't be believe in yourself. And because a lot of these people were reckless with you, you know, it's like they were supposed to look out for you, protect you, speak peace, speak life into you wherever you had doubt or fears they were supposed to encourage you. And because they were slack in what it is, whether even if this, these were your families, again, people who were supposed to look up for you, they dropped you. They fumbled you. And so God said, okay, fine. I'll come in. I'll, 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 I'll represent you. Because where you are weak, I am strong. I will carry you. I will carry you. And so a lot of these people now, they are losing control. Because whatever death spell, magic, Again, it's like a lot of these people, they, again, it could have been your own families, your own friends. They were sending death magic. They were doing rituals. They were speaking evil, gossiping, wanting whatever you were doing to die, to fail. They wanted to stop and block your progress. And it's like now that God showed up, your ancestors and your angels showed up, they're losing control. It's like now they're scrambling. It's like they're confused because everything that they wanted to die in your life, on your end, it's now coming back to them. It's like people are saying, oh, oh crap. You know, it's like, what did we do? What did we do? Like I said, a lot of these people, they, they knew they had some inkling as to who you are. But they, they didn't want to put that respect on your name. They saw how blessed or abundant you are. And instead of them coming alongside to help you, even if it wasn't in, you didn't have the money per se, but you have gifts and talents. But instead of them coming to invest with you or in you with the little that you have going on, instead they wanted to end it. They join with people to come against you. And now <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like when God shows up, it is finished. It is finished because, I mean, it takes a lot. He's very patient. But it's like enough is enough. Enough already. Yeah, now, now that you're having your first start and your new beginning, they're sending people to spy, to watch you. Yeah, a lot of you, you're just leaving it all behind. All of these people and... It makes sense because when I was pre-shuffling, I saw the Fool card. I saw uh, the Five of Pentacles. A lot of people feeling left out in the cold. And it's like here I'm seeing the Four of Pentacles. So a lot of you, you're holding back or you will be holding back from either giving to or investing in people, these familiar people who were reckless with you. Now that you're moving on to your first start, God is turning things around because again, these people, they had a chance. One thing, even if they lie to people, it doesn't matter how much lies they make up and tell. They cannot tell people that they didn't have an opportunity to come align with you, to work with you. God gave them enough time. And yet still, they were very reckless. They were rude. They were crude. And now you're holding back from these people. It's like, no, you're not going to give to them. See the three of pentacles? You're holding back from working with these people. Again, these are familiar people, people in your family, your community, you grew up around them, you, you know, you had some form of fellowship association. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, these people, they had an opportunity to work with you, but instead they wanted to what you were working on to die. And now that spell, that curse, that gossip, whatever negative thoughts they were sending your way, everything is now ricocheting. Everything is now boomeranging. And it's going full blast to them. Yeah, you're not partnering with these people. You're not partnering with them. Some of you, it's time for a fresh start. You're going to be partnering with the person that you're supposed to be with. And these people are going to be spying. They're going to be watching, sending people to take notes. But I'm telling you, a lot of these people are going to be in regret with the five of cups here as to how they treated you. And it's like too late, mercy's gone. Too late, it's like judgment is here. It's, it's finished, it's over. They don't get a second chance or a... I mean, a lot of them, they had more than a hundred chances and they blew it every time. Yeah, you're going to be holding back from these people. They're going to realize they miss an opportunity here with the Four of Cups. They missed an opportunity to work with you, to come with you wherever you're going. Yeah, because now, again, you're going to be meeting the people who you're supposed to celebrate with and work with. You're not going to celebrate with those. No, it's like they already showed their colors. You already know who they are. I mean, you have already been stung over and over, betrayed by these people. No, you're not taking those familiar energies like the chariot. You're going full blast forward. You're taking your dog, <laughs> the dog in the back of the car if you have one. You're packing lightly. You're packing lightly. And it's like, it's a good thing that these people showed their colors. Because can you imagine? Can you imagine taking people who are deceptive, people who are backstabbers with you on your journey where you're going. I'm telling you, back then, it was not pleasant. I'm sure I know. It is not pleasant when people reject you. Like I said, when people could have supported you. It's like they hate to give you even a compliment they held back everything from you. And with the Four of Pentacles, what I'm seeing here too, like I said, a lot of these, some of these people, they held back with the Four of Pentacles. They held back from investing in you in whatever way that they can or they could. They didn't see you as an asset. They counted you out. They probably went with what they thought looked good at the time. Who they thought would make them look good. <laughs> I, 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 I like the underdog story. I like a comeback story. I don't know about you, but I, I love those. I love those. And there was a video that I put out recently. A lot of people, they're going to have to put a respect on your name. See, a lot of the times people look at you and because you're not flashy, they, they think they know what is best for you. You know, because you're not all hyped up, you're, you're grounded, you're down to earth. You don't have to wear everything you have on you. So a lot of the times people will try to downplay your importance, your significance. Until sometimes it's when they see something of yours or you tell them something about yourself, then it's almost as if now they sit up straight because they realize you're not the one, the two or the hundred. It's like 
don't do it. Don't do it. And a lot of you, especially when you grow up with familiar people who have treated you like this all of your life, it comes a point in your life when it's like you have zero tolerance for anybody else underestimating you or undermining you, undermining you. A lot of people have slept on you. And it's like you're done with that. You're finished with that. And it's like if people refuse to treat you the way that you're supposed to be, you're going to let them know it. Or you're going to walk away from it. You're, you're not going to put up with it. You're not going to put up with it because you know your worth. So a lot of these people with the Three of Pentacles, they refuse to collaborate with you. And now, because they see that God is turning things around for you, now they want to come run to offer their cups. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's like I'm hearing there is going to be weeping, wailing, moaning, and gnashing of teeth. Because people are going to have the biggest regrets of their lives because of the way they treated you, because of the way they counted you out. Yeah, it's like with the, the Four of Cups, they didn't think you were deserving of certain opportunities. They didn't think that you are the one who was chosen. You don't have the looks, right? Again, a lot of people judge the book by its cover. You don't have the, the stage or whatever. You know, they think you don't have that appearance. Not realizing that the anointing, it is in you. It's not on you. So a lot of people, they, they didn't think you were deserving of this cup. So they passed you over. They went for the one who looks the part. You know, that's who they went to celebrate with, with the three of cups here. But a lot of you, you're moving on because you found the strength and the courage. Again, to stand in your worth because you believe in yourself. And you know that God is for you. Therefore, who can be against you? You know that you are blessed. Unending blessings. I'm telling you, a lot of people, they thought that the things that they, they spoke over you are your insecurities. They could get those things to work or you was against you. But you tame the beast within. You're not a slave to fear anymore. You're not a slave to your weaknesses, your loss, your pain. I'm telling you, it's like for a lot of you, wow, people don't understand when you grow up in certain toxic environment, broken family, people who are just here to just... Every opportunity they get, they put another nail in you, another sword in you. They tell another lie on you and they get a kick out of it. See, when you can survive the torture of people you grew up and are familiar with, you are a force to reckon with. You are a beast, let me tell you. It's like, hello world, here I come. It's like... For where you are going, anybody coming your way, you're like, what are you? Is they, they look like a toad compared to what you have survived. They're like icing on the cake. It's like you just look at them and they disappear. Because they don't know what you have over what you overcame. They don't know all the things that you have been through that brought you to this point. So a lot of you. You're going to be getting ready to get on that stage. You're going to get ready to sing, to, to play your music, to present that piece of art, whatever it is that you're gifted or talented with. 
And people are going to look at you like, why is he here? Why is she here? All because, say, you're presenting a piece of art, but it's covered up. Maybe everybody else and you're quiet, you're not saying much. And everybody else, they're talking and so, you know, giggly and, you know, boasting and bragging about what they have going on. And you're just standing there quiet in your little spot, not saying much. People are probably wondering, like, why is he here? Why is she here? You know, I don't think they're going to make it until the big reveal until you open your mouth to sing. Haven't you seen it so many times on these shows where people come in so unassuming until they open their mouth, then you see the judges fall back in their chair, their jaws drop, their eyes pop out of their head. They have to end up giving a standing ovation. I'm telling you, because and the people who they thought had it together, those are the ones who are going to be told, sorry, you didn't make it. Because a lot of people, they're going to want to or think they can fill your shoe. But your shoe is custom made only for you. Only for you. Again, it's that Cinderella story. See, when God, your ancestors, and your angel, and your guides show up, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Everything is packaged for you. Because the people who were supposed to help you and work with you to do this, they failed miserably. They failed. Some of them, they know it. Some of them, they, they don't know it, but they will find out that they fail miserably. You conquer the beast within you. All of those traumas, you have healed. You're not afraid anymore to step out to face life, even if it means that in the, in the flesh that you are alone. But you know you're really not alone, right? People are going to see you touch your heart and point to heaven. People are going to see you close your eyes for a minute to give God thanks for the journey, for the deliverance, for the process, for showing up on time for you. People are not going to understand what you're doing, but you know, God knows, and that's, that's perfect. Like there's this song, it is all right, all right. As long as I have my Lord beside me, it is all right. As long as I have his hands to hold, as long as I'm under his control, everything is all right. It is all right. You have his hands to hold. You're under his control. You know you're not alone. You're not alone. And with this, it's kind of like, with the chariot, it's like leaving home. Leaving home. Going out after your dreams. Knowing that you have divine with you. You have support. Hello, Queen of Cups. Yes, you mastered all of those. You mastered all of those anxiety, all of those fears. You're emotionally stable. You're secure. Every little flaws and freckles, moles, stretch mark, fupa, whatever you have, you know, that people used to use to jeer you and mock you. No, it doesn't bother you anymore. It's almost like you tame all of those things. No, all of those work beautifully for you. I'm telling you, when, when God shows up, it's like a new makeover. 
These people are not going to be able to recognize who you are. This new you, the true you. You're not just comfortable anymore being you, but you are now being the best version of yourself. The best version of yourself. You are your biggest competitor. You don't need a lot. You're comfortable sipping your tea by yourself. All of those things people thought that they could hold over you. Think you would need them. Be so needy, so insecure. Can't stand on your own. Oh, I'm telling you. These familiar people, they taught you the biggest lesson of your life. Again, going through it, it's not easy. Going through it, it's not easy. I know it. But it's like the song says, we will understand it all by and by. We will understand it better by and by. We will understand it. When God is, is, is through with us. It's like after the makeover, we will understand it. That it, all of this, it didn't happen to you, but it happened for you. So all along, you know that God is for you. Even in the darkest nights, when you were by yourself, now you are secured. Sitting by your own fireplace on your sofa. It is well, you don't need them anymore. You don't need them anymore. Because when you needed them, they were not there for you. They were not there for you. So you're making plans, two of ones, to go out conquer the world, take over the world. You know where you're going. You know where you're going. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. For some of you, again, whether this is a partnership, but again, for a lot of you, whatever you're going to be doing, speaking, singing, motivating, inspiring others, you know the truth. You're intelligent. Head over heart. And again, it's like you are not open to anybody, any liars, any deceptor cons. No, you're not tolerating that anymore. From here on, it's up. The Ace of Wands. It's up from here. Because you know what it is like to be the hermit. To walk alone. Look on the edge. He reminds me of Moses going up. You know to get the tablets of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. It's like you know your purpose now. You're wise. You know what you're here to do. It's like you answer the call. You answer the call. Wow, the wheel. It is fated. It is destined for this to be a part of your journey. I mean, this is like karma. It's like, even though it hurts, but it's like, it had to happen. It had to happen because again, for where you're going, you need these lessons so that you don't have people smile in your face. And they want to take your place. With the king and queen of swords. You can read them from a mile away. You can spot the fakes and the phonies. You don't even need to hold them up to a light. You just, you just can read them like a book. You needed that experience. For where you're going. This passionate new creative beginning. 
Because yes, even though you're the queen of cups, you're still loving, you're kind, you're caring, you're compassionate, but you need that sword. You need that sword to correct people, to check people when they try to play with you. You need that balance. You need that, wow, justice. Yes. It's fear. It's only fear. It is only fear that where you're going, these people cannot go with you. It's like in the background there, it's like Usher song, let it burn. Let it burn. I'm telling you, and again, it says you're leaving it all behind. You're leaving it all behind. A lot of you, you turned your power into pain. You turned your power into pain. Yeah, because a lot of these people, they travel overseas to do spells, to do witchcraft on you. Because they wanted you to be stuck. Look, the death card is here again. I'm telling you, they wanted things in your life to die, but God came to balance out all of these devilish and toxic people and to blow open this tower to reveal what these people were doing. Some of them are neighbors. They, they were involved to your neighbors. They even hire hitmen to come after you. Now these people will be stuck because now they're obsessed. Again, the devil, they're toxic. Some of them were kitchen witches, I'm telling you. But they're realizing or they realize you are not the one to be played with. I love it for you.